ask me how many remote control cars I've got. And well, today I'm going to show you. And as you can see by all the remotes up there, I've got quite a lot. So let's go and see what I can find. Let's see what I can find. Oh, like that. oh, those are nice screwdrivers. Yeah, they're cool. They're turnity, aren't they? Yeah. That's a big box. It's funny. I used to have tiny little boxes, and now I've got really big boxes. <laughs> I like this toolbox. Like, yeah, yeah, full of full toolbox. Do you see how many um, like, remotes I've got in that box? Like, whole massive pile. Yeah, you may as well just use that box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like these stickers. They're cool stickers. Do you have any spare ones? Stickers? Yeah, I've got heaps here. Here we've got a really cool remote control collection here. I'm just going to show you a bit about all of them. And comment down below on which one's your favourite. And we can make a video on it if you like. And yeah, let's crack to it. So this is my Mini Maverick, which is the first remote control car I got. Anyway, it's super fast, but it's not really very strong, but it was good fun at the time. And it's on my homemade trailer, which is just hot glue and pop sticks, and actually that's mini um, Maverick wheels as well. Then up here, you can see this little compartment for putting screws and stuff in. Then we've got the mini rock crawler, which is towing the trailer there. It's got a bolt, which is tied to it. Um, the only upgrade I've done to this is the metal servo, because it comes with a plastic gear servo that's really crap, and they always break. Anyway, that's the only thing I've done to that. Really slow, not like the mini Maverick, but... Um, so this is my car, it's still part of the Ultra SC family and I've had it for about six years. I've done a whole load of mods on it, double shocks, light bar, new bull bar, I put a driver inside and yeah it's actually, it was actually really good. I'm thinking about putting brushes motor in it. It's a big brother to the little Maverick isn't it? Yeah, it's this the, is like a little version of it. It was the XT wasn't it? So it's the same Evo. as that one. Yeah, Evo. Evo. Yeah. Not brushless version. Okay, next one is the SEX10. This has gone through a lot of shells. So it was the deadbolt originally, but now I've been making, I've been welding a shell for it, which is nice and cool. The front opens like that. But yeah, it's a work in progress. And it used to have that wooden truck body as well, which you probably saw. So this is my ECX amp. It is a very strong vehicle. Like I've had this for a whole year and I haven't really broken anything. Like, the shell's a bit broken, but that just happens, you know. We have bashed this really hard. We've done some really cool things, like flips and rolls and jumps, and very cool, you should check out the videos of that. And, um, yeah, I've just given it a brushless motor and a metal spur gear, and, yeah, cool, cool car. Okay, so the next car here is the Eagle 3. Now, this is really new to my collection, but um, it was a bit slow and not very controllable, so we put a brushless motor in it, and we sort of shredded it with a nice big, what was it? 1800 3 cell and it just shredded itself like the wheels it had a big block wheels originally and they just actually blew up um very cool there will be a video on that soon now next we've got the ecx boost which is like ecx amp it's pretty much exactly the same it's just got different shell different wheels and the a arms are different lengths it is brushed at the moment it's very stock very easy to control and good for a beginner this car then the next car we've got is my orlando mini um, Hunter Rock Hall, it's the Jeep one, and um, yeah, it's very hard build, it took about 8 hours, um, see it's completely, it's like the SX10, it's just a mini version, <laughs> practically, it's got so many parts, nice hard shell, then up here we've got the STV Rover, which I made, it's basically a mini rock cooler, just with this nice um, camera here, and then here next to it we've got the goggles and the remote, so this side controls the car, and that side controls the camera, then up next we have got what is this? The HBX Desert. Oh, it's the Wild Killer thing. Yeah. It's the Wild Killer HBX buggy. Anyway, it's pretty old now, but um, yeah, it works. We can make it work. Just we're using the parts for other things at the moment. The next we've got the brand new Lossy Mini T, um, the Truggy Mini Eight. Um, very controllable. We gave that a run just then. Beast of a thing. Beast of a thing. It's on two cell at the moment. Um, the Spurge keeps shredding itself, which is not so good, but really controllable, really great, really fun, and highly recommended that car. Yeah, then next we've got the Radio Shack. <laughs> Radio Shack. Yeah, just go on about how good that is. Then we've got the Radio Shack, which is very old, but um, yeah, we fixed this with the mini rock roller parts, but it's not apparently working at the moment. It's got a very hard shell, and it's sort of, yeah, very old that car. Then here we've got an awesome My boat. AR Pro boat. I got that. Like two weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Very We've fast. already had a couple of videos on it, I think. Yeah. Um, and yeah, the den we used in is just too small for it. It's too fast. Very cool. Way too fast. This is my controller. 
We should really go to my house and make a whole video on my planes. Yeah, we can do that if you yeah, guys... Yeah, like four planes. If you want really to see cool. planes, we can go to Jen's Yeah, comment down if you want planes. And this is your excavator, isn't it? This is the excavator. Yeah. Um, I've made it go along. I fixed the tracks. Um, it's a work in progress, basically. Um, if I get it working properly, we can... Yeah, go on... Oh, go on. not still on. It just goes black. And then, just up here, we've got another trailer for my XX10. This is the original wooden body, which you can see here. Um... Yeah, it's cool. It's a bit too heavy though, so now I'm making a metal one, you know, why not? Just make it here, yeah, just to make it a bit, a bit, a bit lighter. And then this is the deadbolt shell, which is very cool. Um, but, you know, I like to make stuff. It gives you something to do. Yeah, so project. I think the new one's cool. Um, yeah, if you want to know anything else about any of these, just comment any questions. I'm really happy to answer stuff. You know, um, most of stuff's really cool. Oh yeah, there's the plane. Let's go look at the plane. So over here we have got the plane. We've got the flight test tiny trainer, the mini breeze, which doesn't really work, never really works. <laughs> and then it did when I was flying it. Yeah, whatever.